to be sneaky right now. Nolan just left for his first day of work. And there he goes in that truck right there. Bye, buddy. First day of work ever. Oh, pecking order in motion right now. These are our two older gals that have molted and think they are pretty special. And she's going over to scold the little ones. Did you tell them? They won't be causing cool any dog. soon. We're trying to figure out where to put this fence. This is a smaller pulled fence so the little ducks can't get out once we get them acclimated to out here. They're still a little a little skittish, but as long as we keep their water out here, they're like, darn it, I guess we have to go out. Are you finding the barley? Yeah. Good luck growing anything with ducks. As you can see, my dad's here. My mom's inside playing Barbies with Abby and the boys. So we're out here getting this fence all put up. And these ducks are so helpful. And so are the dogs. He's just in here eating dirty bedding. Gross dog. Okay, so what are you doing with that thing? What is that? Is that a packing envelope? <laughs> <laughs> looks like you have shoulder pads. Looks like, actually, it looks like a superhero vest. Is that what you are? I was just cold. Oh, I like it. <laughs> You're silly. Guys, come on. Do you see the green grass behind the snow? This is nuts. We are May 10th and it is snowing like crazy. What? You're making waves there. How's it feel? Are you taking a video? <laughs> it feels awesome. I know, right? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> We're at the hot springs today. It's a little chilly. You can snow up in the mountains. Yeah, you can you can tell it snowed last night as you saw on the previous video. And it stuck a little bit. We're a little north of where we live, so it's a little cooler here. I think it's about 45 degrees maybe, so these hot springs feel awesome. Perfect. What do you guys think of the hot springs? They feel good. It's right? really good. Oh. These guys are making waves, so. <laughs> always. Don't they always make waves? So Nolan <coughs> had... <laughs> We'll see how long he can stay underwater. He's got to come up eventually. <laughs> oh. How was your first day of work yesterday? And that's the answer we get from the 14 year old. <laughs> well, we're very proud of you. Good job. You worked 10 hours on a farm yesterday doing manual labor. Woof, geez. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Shmoo. <laughs> <laughs> Got these guys working hard today. Sun's out, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. They already filled up the second row and now they're working on the third, which is awesome. We had to put down cardboard though because it's been so wet here lately. Just mushy. Ooh, that looks like a cake. Looks like a wedding cake. Ketchup with extra mustard. I don't want a wedding cake. <laughs> Handheld? Yeah, Crosby used it to scoop poop. <laughs> Is it? Okay. So we're, we found, this was the third Cross. fence post that we found. We need the pooper scooper. And we're gonna use this for the we pig the gate. Scooper. 
and then we'll attach it as well on the other side to this tree. That's a big fence post. Look at these lazy dogs. You sleeping on the job there, sister? <laughs> How about you, Frankie? Are you sleeping on the job? Or are you just sitting here eating charred sticks? Apparently she's got a nice itch. Tessie, you get that? <laughs> Doing some grinding. raspberry shoots. Our friend called us today and said that they were working on their raspberry patch and that if we wanted any of their discards we should come and get them. So we decided to put stuff on the back burner and go and pick up free raspberry shoots. So yeah, this is going to be our raspberry patch. the spot that's going to be the greenhouse again this year. But this year he stumped ground all around it so now it'll be nice and lovely inside. Okay so we got the greenhouse up yesterday which is pretty great. Got a few things planted today. Go in and see how they're doing. They're all looking pretty wilty after being transplanted but hopefully they'll rally. Give them lots of good water. Mostly cucumbers, some squash. Fingers crossed that everything does really well now that it can be outside. You ladies think you're excited to have some new roommates? So we got the pig shelter all done. This is where they'll sleep. Just laid down some fresh straw for them. Unfortunately, our water barrel is not going to be ready until next week, so we're using this. I, I have no idea. We have never raised pigs before, so I, I don't know if this is going to be sufficient. We're going to use this for food and water just for the time being until we get that 55-gallon water up and running. But they'll have this nice whole area in here. Some shade if they need it. And then we got the gate done yesterday too. So our plan today, we're gonna go pick up the pigs in about 15 minutes. And what Brandon is thinking about doing is driving the truck up here because we're borrowing um, the farmer that we get our, that's we're getting our pigs from, we are borrowing his trailer. So he's gonna back the truck up and then back the trailer into here so we can just kind of guide them in. Because they're a lot older than we were anticipating getting this year so it's gonna take a little bit of retraining I think to get these guys used to being in here but fingers crossed everybody send good good pig thoughts our way sad day we're all saying goodbye to my parents we're going home to Minnesota there they go that's how we 
be so sad. Never gets old. So, driving to Jackson to head back, head back south. It's really not super busy here, which is a weird, weird thing. But no masks. Everybody's pretty happy about that. All right, so we let the little ducks out before into this enclosure, but we didn't have the big ducks yet out here. So we decided to give it a shot right now. I'm not sure how it's going to go. I'm a little nervous. They get scared when I'm <clears throat> over here, so we're going to see what happens. Maybe I'll have to get them some dandelion leaves to coax them out. Okay, so I put some dandelion leaves out there, we'll see, because now the big ducks saw me do it, so <laughs> they're probably going to come over and steal them. Oh, here come a couple. We're gonna leave their house door open just in case there's a scuffle they can get away. But we'll see. Say hi duck. Oh! Oh! Little duck go after a big duck I see. Huh. Interesting. Well, I mean, I don't call it a win yet, but We'll see. We'll see what the pecking murder looks like. <laughs> they just want to go to the pool. Oh my gosh. The big ducks are like, what happened to my world? <laughs> That's awesome. Huh? Power numbers, I guess, huh? Awesome, this would be great. If we could just have them all in one area, life would be a lot easier. Wow. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. I think our old ducks are getting kind of territorial with these little little brutes might take a couple days but I think we'll get there that's what I love about these ducks they're so nice and since we don't have any males they're not gonna try and mate with each other because that's when it gets real ugly well it's been a crazy crazy week so we had my parents here which was so awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming out. We were here for six whole days and we loved every minute of it. We actually got a lot done this week too. So um, Brandon and my dad started the um, west side I think of the house and with the siding. Got the scaffolding all set up. Went to the hot springs. We did so many things around the homestead had some good meals, and then we also got pigs. So watch for the next video on that. It's going to be all about pigs. How we got them, how we transported them, now what we're doing with them, how we're gonna raise them. It's gonna be pretty, pretty awesome. So we're super excited about that. I was really nervous to start. Um, now that we've had them for a day, I feel semi-confident. So more on that next week. And I just hope everyone is doing really, really well. No masks anymore is what I've heard rumors of. So I think it's going to make a lot of people pretty happy. So with that, we'll talk soon.